Hi guys, in this video I want to give you five reasons why you shouldn't buy the OnePlus Open. And don't get me wrong, I love the device, but as always in life, where there's light, there's also shadow. And if you want to decide to yeah, spend a huge amount of money on a device like this, you should know the pros and also the cons. So let's dive right in with the first reason. The first reason is the OnePlus Open is a first generation product. It's OnePlus's first foldable and there are no long-term experiences with regards to durability and also durability of the inner screen. There are some reports online that report that the inner screen broke after a few days of using it, but you have to um, yeah, read them with a grain of salt because Normally only people go online and complain when there's something wrong and there are a lot of people who are really happy with the device But there are no long-time experiences like for example with Samsung Who have their fifth uh, generation foldable on the market and where you kind of know what to expect The second reason is it is only IPX4 rated and not, not IPX8 like for example the Google Pixel Fold or the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold, it's IPX4. This means it's resistant against splash water, but it, it cannot be submerged like the other foldables. So you need to be a little bit more careful with the open when you get into a situation where it could be submerged. So don't take it swimming. The third reason is it doesn't support wireless charging. It has no wireless charging coil built in and OnePlus states that if they would implement wireless charging, the device would get thicker, but that's a kind of lame excuse. And also historically, OnePlus had a kind of bad track record with wireless charging because they always said, I mean, um, charging with a cable is much more efficient and faster and stuff like this. And some of their other smartphones also don't have wireless charging. I think that's um, a negative and a downside of this device. I would like to have wireless charging in the OnePlus Open. The fourth reason, again, about charging, when you want to utilize ultra-fast charging of the device, and that's really awesome, uh, you have to use the proprietary charger. I mean, the pro is it comes in the box, but you have to remember to take it with you. If you want to use another PD-compatible charger, it does not charge at the highest speed. For me, that's a downside. And the fifth and final reason is the track record with regards to service and support of OnePlus. There are a lot of horror stories online about bad uh, service and support, but I don't know. I mean, you hear these stories about Google and Samsung and stuff like this, but it could be a problem dealing with a Chinese company when you have a problem with this expensive device. And it's a minor, but, but it's a reason. So these were the five reasons why I wouldn't recommend buying the OnePlus Open. Again, as I said at the beginning, I love this smartphone. I think it's a brilliant device. It's really a joy to use this, but um, I wanted to be transparent. I gave you five reasons why it's a great phone and I gave you five reasons why it's not so such a great phone um, in this video. So let's discuss in the comments what are your pros and cons and what do you think about this video and the reasons I gave you. I would be delighted to welcome you in one of my other videos. Until then, take care and bye.